anything that people give their lives to is seen as being fanatical. Incredible passion, regardless if they're winning or losing. But actually, they celebrate with it because they have that affinity and there's something that catches them to be part of that. I used to get to bed about eight o'clock and match of the day was on about ten, you know. And my dad I used to say to my dad, Can you wake me up, Dad? So I'd watch the footy. And uh, he used to wake me up and I was sort of half asleep, but I used to drag myself out of bed, you know, and then, then I was there, I used to go into the lounge and watch the footy and then go back to bed again, you know. That's how important it was to me. One of the things I've noticed when I go down there is the passion of people when they're down there together, how they really are excited about this game of football and following their team. You know, I've heard of people paying thousands and thousands of pounds to follow their team all over the world. Um, you just watch what happens when things go against the team. People shout, people are, are kind of swear and curse. It can mean a lot to you. I mean, people can base the lives around it and best schedule the lives around football. And this is real. For some people, it's a really important aspect of their life. I have people who were put off their weddings, not to kind of miss a, a fixture over the summertime. As you kind of get absorbed into the game, your shouts and your cheers, it almost seems like um, you're actually part of what goes on. Paul Scholes, I saw him at Villa Park, you know, around Christmas time. And the ball came out to him, and it just, just, it just came to him, arrived at him, just outside the penalty box, and he smacked it half volley. And that was the excitement, you know what I mean? It sort of, woof. And it's sort of just smacking it, just like a peach, you know, woof, straight in the back of the net. You could just hear the ball just sort of rippling down the back of the net. You go, yes, come on. In the same way as which people are um, passionate in um, following their football team, so I am passionate in, f in doing things for God and, and to worship him, singing his praises. I think you can't just take God out of emotions. God has made us, so he's made us with emotions. And I see it all the time when people are playing football, and I also see it in church. God has made us with those kind of emotions and so because God makes us with those emotions God wants us to express ourselves and he wants to express ourselves in a freedom. I feel that I've got a relationship with God which makes me want to express myself in different ways. Uh, if I know what God has done for me then I can't help being thankful and so my thanks will, will spill out in my emotions um, if I understand who actually God is and the great awesomeness and magnitude of God, then I can't help but praise who God is. And so to be able to sing, to be able to dance and celebrate who God is, to be able to be joyful, to be able to, to shout and make declarations and let our, our whole spirit being, you know, kind of come out. I see that as being very much part of the essence of a Christian life. Yeah, I've got a quite strict routine for football, actually. I'd uh, go to the football, travel to the game, and then I always go for like in the pub because it's where you get the atmosphere, build up to the game. You know, everyone's drinking, everyone's merry, a few songs and a bit of banter with people. Obviously, go to the game itself, and after the game, I'll probably go back into the pub. It's just ritual, really. I, I always try and spend a little bit of time just praying with God in the morning. I always try and read my Bible. Um, because I believe that God's word is a manual for my life. And so by reading it, I can find out some things that will help me live and, and get through my day. Some people think football is a matter of life and death. I can assure them it is much more important than that. You know, I see the passion in which certain uh, supporters, if I was to say anything ill, at that time, right, about their team. They were that wound up, they were that passionate about it. And sad to say, I think some of them would kill. You know, I'm not saying I would kill, right, but what I'm saying is, right, I would die for my faith. I think anything that people give their lives to is seen as being fanatical. You've just got people hugging people you don't even know. Uh, the way that they'll jump up and down with their freedom. Cheering, shouting, you know, getting behind the team. I would say that, um, what are they mad for? because everybody has got something that they're mad about. Come on!